All right, how's it going today, guys? Thank you so much for purchasing one of my Wii's on eBay. Um, I, you know, I've sold quite a bit of them so far, and I've definitely gotten a lot of feedback. Um, and I apologize if some of the games don't work properly. Um, <clears throat> there's a long story. I just figured out what all the main problems were with, with the Wii games. It was only the Wii games that were the ones that were messing up sometimes. And the uh, the ROM pack I, I, I downloaded and converted from my own disc site because I own a lot of Wii games. I own all the games that I put on these Wiis that I um, sell. And, <clears throat> excuse me. Basically, I realized that a lot of the top games were in PAL and Korean, I guess. There's different IDs for different regions, so that was the issue uh, why certain games weren't playing, but I have that all fixed now, and all the games are 100% tested and good to go. So, um, as far as the other problems, <clears throat> these aren't really problems. They're more so just user error, because I know you guys probably don't know how to use some of the the apps, but I want to make this video. So let's get right into it. USB Loader GX, um, when you buy a Wii from me, you usually get uh, two hard drives. One that looks like that, and one that looks like that. Literally the same thing, two of those. Um, one of them usually has the Wii games on it, and one of them, like this one right here, has the GameCube games and everything else, all the other ROMs and um, you know retro games and stuff like that. <clears throat> These hard drives are labeled. Uh, on top, as you know, it says main HDD for all games except Wii games. So, let's go into USB Loader GX. Now, if you plug this one in right here, it says it can only play the GameCube games, it cannot play Wii games. Sometimes, when you open up USB Loader GX, <clears throat> it might think it's the Wii, the Wii games hard drive because, you know, you just had that Wii, the other hard drive plugged in playing Wii games. Well, there's an easy way to fix that. If you open USB Loader GX and there's no game showing. You go up here to the top left corner, select Loader Mode, click on it, and see there's J GameCube games checked. Now, when you plug the Wii hard drive in, you're going to want to uncheck this and check the Wii games check mark if, that, if the Wii games don't show up. I put two Wii games on here just to show you that that filters it out. <clears throat> and then when you unplug the Wii hard drive, the Wii games hard drive, and plug that hard drive back in, you can go back up here and select the Gate games if they don't show up, and that will fix your problems with the games not showing. So I hope that helped with the USB Loader GX. There's a lot of games, so it takes like a couple seconds to load. And then if you click up on the D-pad and da or down on the D-pad, you could actually you know make them all like this. So. That's the USB Loader GX right there. Let's go back to the Wii menu and I'll show you the other apps that you guys are having problems slash questions with. <coughs> mm, excuse me. Allergies. All right. That was USB Loader GX, the Wii and GameCube games. Uh, let's go to the Visual Boy Advance one. This plays all Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, and Game Boy games. Sorry for my quality right now of this on my phone I don't have a camera I'm doing this real quick right now so so as you can see this pops up now this probably won't pop up for you though because this is what I was in last time I was using this a lot of the times this defaults to the SD card I got an email on eBay saying that none of these games worked and they weren't showing up and that was because this app was just looking at the SD card not the USB hard drive okay not a pr there's no problems here all, if, if you don't see any games or all you see is just this up one level and no games, nothing, click on settings, go to saving and loading, and with a load device, go to um, the, the USB right there. Now, it automatically defaults to SD. When it's at SD, it's going to either say error or it's going to say the up one level, and when you click on that, nothing, nothing really happens. It goes to the SD card, and there's no ROMs or games in here. So let's go back. Load device. Make sure it's USB. That's the only way. Okay. Now, as you can see, this changed. <coughs> so, Visual Boy Advance ROMs are going. What is wrong with my freaking sensor bar? Visual Boy Advance ROMs are going to be in V Bag X, and then go to ROMs. And here's all the packs. There's the first Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, Game Boy, and then the second Game Boy Advance. These three I added. 
So if you purchase a Wii for me after, uh, to, you know, like a couple days ago, you're gonna have a lot more of the Game Boy games. These are t just that's just 2,800 right there, just for Game Boy Advance games. So there's over like eight, nine thousand. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and exit. <coughs> Obviously, just click on the ROM you want to play, and that's how you run it. All right, next one. All right, another one I've got a lot of problems with is the Wii SX. So right now, the Wii SX is actually not working pretty much at all. I mean, the emulator itself is working, but the games are... I guess the emulator is just really bad, and a lot of games are not compatible uh, with the, to run on the Wii, pretty much, for the PlayStation 1 games. So stay tuned. I'm going to try and fix that as fast as I can. Um, but as far as everything else, it works fine. Um, I'm actually going to get rid of Retro Arc. I might replace it with the Neo Geo one because the Retro Arc's not really that great. But you know, you just click on this to play. This is just for like Neo Geo games and um, Atari. That's about it. <coughs> so, this uh, Visual Boy Advance one, this SNES, and this uh, NES one, they're both going to have the same layout as this Visual Boy Advance one, okay? So that options thing where you click on the SD card in these, or sorry, where you, yeah, you change the SD card because it's looking for the ROMs and the SD card and you go to settings and you change the USB. So the USB games are getting recognized for these, okay? That's how you do it. So these three apps, Game Boy Advance, Super Nintendo, and Nintendo Entertainment System, NES, you're, you're going to have to go and just click settings and look, change the default load device to USB for them to work, okay? I'm going to change it and before I send them out, before I send Wii's out, and hopefully it stays the same. Sometimes it resets over default over time. So, Nintendo 64. I have a couple questions about this, too. <coughs> this one's pretty self-explanatory. All right. In this one, go to settings. The save devices. Okay. Click the USB. I didn't make a save path on the SD. So click USB to save. That's how you're going to save, okay? And then save the setting to USB. There you go. Saved. So that's what you want to do when you first open this up. You can change any, I mean, don't touch anything else. You don't need to touch anything else. So <clears throat> if you do want to touch anything else, go for it, but don't blame me if it breaks. All right. So all you do is click load ROM, load from the USB. Boom. There you go. They, all the games are going to show up. There's really no way to organize them, really. It's just alphabetical order, so have at it. Someone said that Super Mario 64 didn't work properly, but I'm pretty, pretty sure it works for me. Loaded. Play game. Crap, but I don't have a game controller. <coughs> yeah, it works fine. Oh my god, it uses the... Whoa, it actually uses the Wii Wiimote? That's weird. If you want to exit, click 1 and 2 at the same time on the Wii Wiimote. That's how you exit. And you can just resume game if you want. Quit. Get out of here. So that's how you do it for that N64 emulator. And the, the PlayStation 1 emulator is literally the same thing as that. Okay? So if you want to best around with the PlayStation 1, that one right there, even though it's not working too well, you can try it out. Now the next one, Gen Plus. This is for Sega Genesis games and any other Sega console, basically. <clears throat> there's a lot of Sega consoles, apparently. I didn't know. Like, there's like Sega 32X and stuff. This one's a little weird, so... <coughs> Excuse me. Gonna go load game, and there's a bunch of, like, different Sega games. I just click on the uh, Mega Drive because that... I think that's the newest one. I'm not really sure, but... Uh, yeah, I just click on that, and then, bam, shows all the robs, so, excuse me, if you want to go back, you can hit B, and you can hit B again, and if you want to know where the rob, excuse me, robs are, in this, they're going to be in the, uh, where is it, Gen Plus, right there, Gen Plus, more robs, the saves are right there, too, and let's play the Adams Family, click on that, <coughs> <coughs> boom. Runs perfectly. So that's why I just click on the first one. 
Click the Wiimote bu home button, go back main menu. You can load if you want, or you could save. I don't think I could save right now because I didn't do anything. Save file. Boo, actually it worked, cool. All right, so let's go. Uh, so let's check the options real quick. In the options, you can change a bunch of stuff you want. And just look through it, I guess. And all the stuff is set to the perfect things in, in the in the settings, so don't don't mess with the settings. <coughs> and yeah, that's that's about it, honestly. Um, I don't think there's any other problems that you guys asked me about. So, just know when you um when you buy Wii from me, there's a good chance you're gonna get one hard drive, one 500 gigabyte hard drive with all the um, games except Wii games. And then there's going to be another 500 gigabit hard drive with just Wii games on it. And, and this one's actually an SSD that I'm giving to someone because my, this other hard drive was broke. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to give that. So, and if you, if you want an SSD, if you want to request one, I can buy it, but you're gonna have to pay for it. So um, you could send me extra money and I'll, I'll buy a nicer hard drive for you, throw in the enclosure and it'll be super fast. So, all right, guys. Well, you have a good one. If you have any more questions about um, <clears throat> my Wii's on, on, on eBay, let me know. Um, I always respond with my number, and I have a Discord channel for customer service. It's been a couple of people that blow up my, my eBay page, and I send them one message saying, please call me, text me, or go to my you can dis Discord channel. And they don't want to do that. So, um, unfortunately, I do not exclusively provide help through eBay because it's very annoying. So if you want help, call me, text me, or join my Discord channel, okay? All right. You guys have a great day. Um, this is the other channels over here. You don't really, these ones you don't really need to use, but I just put them here because um, this system is nice for when I need to troubleshoot something for you guys. But all right, have a nice day, and I hope to see you uh, in the future. And I have Wii U's that I'm going to be putting up too. So thank you very much. Bye.